In this video, we're going to look at arithmetic sequences and series. So an arithmetic sequence, which is also called an arithmetic progression, is just a sequence of numbers that has a common difference. So an example of an arithmetic sequence might be 4, 7, 10, 13, dot, 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 dot. And this dot, dot, dot means that this sequence will continue with the same pattern. Now, as we can see here, this is an arithmetic sequence because the difference between each term is positive 3. It's going to be positive 3 added to each term. So we know the next term uh, would be 16 and then 19 and so on and so on. So this is an arithmetic sequence. It's made up of terms and there's a common difference. So there is a letter here, which is D, which we need to denote as our common difference. So in this case, D would be 3, which is positive 3. And that's going to be important when we use some of our arithmetic sequence formulas. Now, I have put the IB formulas up here, uh, which I will sort of show you how these work. Now, another example of an arithmetic sequence is one that goes down. So, for example, 20, then 16, 12, 8, dot, dot, dot. This is also an arithmetic sequence because there is a common difference, but this time it's negative 4. So, negative 4, and so on, so on. Now, if it was negative 4, the negative 4, and the negative 3, this would not be an arithmetic sequence. It needs to be a common difference. So, a rule of thumb for the common difference, you know, if you want, really want to try and figure it out, is it's the second term minus the first term. And terms we write as u. So, u2 means the second term, and u1 means the first term in a sequence. So, as we can see for this first example, that u2, our second term, would be 7. 7 minus 4 is, is our common difference, 3. And this is actually the same as u3 minus u2 and u4 minus u3. It's any term subtracts the term before it. Okay, so that's what an arithmetic sequence is. Now, if we have a sequence that has a dot, 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 and it goes forever, this is indicating that it's an infinite sequence. It means it will go on forever. Uh, so, uh, it could go all the way up to infinity, and then infinity plus 3, and so on, so on, so on. But if we have a sequence that actually stops, so in a question, you might have 4, 7, 10, and then dot, 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 and then it finishes at 19, this is actually a finite sequence. They've told you that the last term is 19. So, infinite goes forever, and finite uh, has a ending uh, term. Okay, so this is what an arithmetic sequence will look like. What we can do is we can use this formula up here to find any term in an arithmetic sequence. So, if we use our example one here, if the question asks to find the 100th term, so find u of 100, it would take quite a long time to do it with your fingers. You'd say 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, and it might take you some time. But there is a formula to help us uh, work that out, and it's the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. So, if we use this formula up here, it says that UN, so whatever term we want to find, that's what UN stands for, will be the first term plus N minus 1 multiplied by our common difference. So, using our example up here, if we wanted to find the 100th term, u of 100 will be equal to u1, which is our first term of 4, plus, now n is the number of terms we want, we want 100, so 100 minus 1, and we need to multiply this by our common difference, which for our first example was 3. Then we're going to have 4 plus, now 99 times 3 is 297. So, therefore, 301 will be our 100th term. So, this is a pretty nice formula. It helps us find terms. Now, just be careful. In some uh, IB exam questions, they will give you uh, a term in the future. They might give you a term is 301. UN is 301. What term is it? So, we'd have to let this be 301. We won't know what N is but we will know U1 and D, and we might need to use some algebra and work backwards to find that. So, that's a common IB question. Okay, so that's an arithmetic sequence, and an arithmetic series, 
we'll create some space here, is the sum of a sequence of terms, an arithmetic sequence. So an arithmetic series is the sum of all of the terms in an arithmetic sequence. So series stands for sum. So for our example one up here, if the question said find the sum of the first, let's say, 10 terms, we'd write it as S10. This means the sum of the first 10 terms. And we can use this second formula here in our formula booklet, the sum of n terms of an arithmetic sequence. So for our example one, S of 10 will be n on 2. So n stands for how many terms? 10 on 2. And then 2 times our first term, 2 times 4, plus n minus 1. Well, we want 10 terms. n stands for the number of terms. So 10 minus 1 multiplied by our common difference, 3. Okay, so we have 10 over 2 is 5. 2 times 4 is 8. And 9 times 3 is 27. Now, 27 plus 8 is 35, then 35 times 5. We can use our calculator, uh, but it will be 175. So this tells us that if we summed up the first 10 terms in this sequence, it will equal 175. Now, once again, they might give you a difficult question where they give you the sum. The sum of n amount of terms is 175. You need to work backwards to find out what n is. And similar to my other example, you just need to put in everything that you know, and you might need to use some algebra to work backwards. Okay, now, last thing I wanted to touch on is this formula here. This is also the sum of n terms in an arithmetic sequence. So, it could, you could either use this one here or this one. And we can use this little shortcut formula if we have the last term in the sequence. Now, what I mean by that is if the question says find the sum of the first 10 terms, and we know already the 10th term. Have a look at this formula. We want to find S of 10, and if we know U of 10, we can use this shortcut formula to find uh, the sum of the first 10 terms. So do be aware of that when you practice some questions. If you need to find U8 first, for example, and then in the, uh, the next question it finds the sum of the first eight terms, Okay, you already know U8, you can use the shortcut formula. Okay, so this is an introduction. Uh, try practicing some questions and moving on to some IB questions, but an arithmetic sequence is a sequence of terms that has a common difference, and a series is the sum of those terms. Okay, good luck.